Now we have two uh, transfer sinusoidal waves. One is traveling to the right and one is traveling to the left. So we can write the wave functions as y1 is equal to a sine kx minus omega t that's traveling to the right and then I have uh, y2 a sine kx plus omega t that is traveling to the left and when these two meet we have the resultant wave function given by the superposition principle a uh, sine kx minus omega t plus sine kx plus omega t and again I'm encountering this uh, sum of the two signs sine a plus sine b I remind myself is 2 sine a plus b over 2 cosine a minus b over 2 I use this trigonometric identity which we have shown before and therefore the resultant wave function here is equal to 2a sine kx cosine omega t <clears throat> so the resultant wave function does not belong to a traveling wave because it doesn't have the form f of x minus vt or f of x plus vt we call this a standing wave a standing wave the standing wave has an amplitude uh, 2a sine kx so amplitude is 2a sine kx it's an oscillation in time so what it really means is you have uh, the elements of the medium performing simple harmonic motion for example here you can see that this medium element is moving up and down performing simple harmonic motion so depending on where we are uh, we have this amplitude 2a uh, sine kx uh, that is uh, describing the amplitude of the simple harmonic motion for elements at position x so we call uh, the regions where we have zeros uh, so when sine kx is equal to uh, zero remember k is a uh, 2 pi over lambda so 2 pi low over lambda x uh, when is the sine function zero if it is zero if it is pi if it is 2 pi uh, 3 pi etc uh, this corresponds to x is equal to uh, 0 lambda over 2 lambda 3 lambda over 2 etc so these locations x is equal to n lambda over 2 where n is an integer starting from 0 1 2 3 etc these locations are called nodes node locations uh, and on the other hand if I have maxima when sine kx is equal to 1 so that 2 pi over lambda x is equal to pi over 2 3 pi over 2 5 pi over 2 etc that means x is equal to lambda over 4 3 lambda over 4, 5 lambda over 4, etc. So that means x is equal to n lambda over 4, where n is an odd integer, 1, 3, 5, etc. We have anti nodes. So you can see this pattern here uh, when I have x is equal to uh, lambda over. 2 lambda 3 lambda over 2 2 lambda etc uh, this is actually lambda over 4 uh, lambda over 2 3 lambda over 4 
and uh, here I have lambda I have mislabeled it so you can see that at lambda over 4 3 lambda over 4 I have an anti node and at lambda over 2 and lambda I have a node so uh, we can calculate the distance between consecutive anti nodes consecutive nodes and uh, consecutive nodes and anti nodes so I have anti node to the neighboring anti node uh, distance is going to be uh, that's this distance here uh, so I can find this distance between these two points so you can see that's from lambda over 4 to 3 lambda over 4 this distance is lambda over 2 on the other hand if I look at the node to node distance that's also equal to lambda over 2 so let's find that here um, that's from this node uh, to this node what is this distance that distance is also lambda over 2 from lambda over 2 to lambda and if I look at the distance between two neighboring nodes and anti nodes node anti node uh, distance this will be lambda over 4 let's also see that here um, let's pick a different color this one uh, so I'm going from one node to the next anti node uh, so here is the distance between the two from lambda over 4 to lambda over 2 this distance is lambda over 4 <coughs> so uh, let's take a look at an example to calculate the, uh, the points where we have nodes and anti nodes um, two waves traveling in opposite directions produce a standing wave the individual wave functions are for sine 3x minus 2t and for sine 3x plus 2t where everything x and y is in centimeters uh, and t is in seconds find the amplitude of the simple harmonic motion of the element of the medium located at x is equal to 2.3 centimeters uh, so first of all I'm uh, curious about the k here the wave number for these waves 2 pi over lambda is given as 3 uh, so that means lambda is equal to 2 pi over 3 centimeters what is the unit of uh, k it is radians per centimeter here so uh, x is equal to 2.3 centimeters um, is not uh, an integer multiple of the wavelength I think so if I just calculate this uh, 2 times 3.14 divided by 3 uh, this is going to be uh, roughly if I take pi to be uh, 3 for uh, simplicity this is roughly uh, 2 centimeters wavelength okay so it's not 2.3 centimeters therefore we're not on a half integer uh, multiple of the wavelengths or uh, integer multiple of the wavelengths position so it's not a node position it's not a lambda over 4 or um, 3 lambda over 4 position so it's one of these positions here so I'm located at uh, some arbitrary position here um, x is equal to 2.3 centimeters so basically we have exceeded the wavelength uh, so if this wave continues on this side so we're almost at this point maybe so we're looking at the simple harmonic motion of this point all right so what is the amplitude of the 
uh, oscillation, the simple harmonic motion of the medium located at this point. The resultant wave function is y1 plus y2. Remember, this is 2a sine kx cosine omega t. So I have the resultant wave function is equal to 8 sine 3x cosine 2t. So the 8 sine 3x part is the amplitude. So if I want to know the amplitude of the simple harmonic motion at x is equal to 2.3 centimeters, I have to substitute that here. 8 sine 3 times uh, 2.3. So that's going to uh, give me 8 uh, sine uh, 6.9 radians, which is uh, 4.6 centimeters so this should be the amplitude of the simple harmonic motion uh, of the medium element located at x is equal to uh, 2.3 centimeters now i want to know the positions of the nodes and anti nodes so in order to have a node here i must have an amplitude 8 sine 3x is equal to zero that means 3x is equal to 0, it's pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. So that means x is equal to 0, pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, uh, pi, etc. So node locations are x is equal to n pi over 3 centimeters, where n is... 0, 1, 2, 3, an integer that starts out from uh, 0. So these will be the node locations where I have 0 amplitude. So that, that's these locations. Now, uh, if I look at anti-node locations, that's where I have maximum amplitude for the simple harmonic motion. Uh, I'm looking for uh, 8 sine 3x amplitude to be equal to 8. So uh, sine 3x will be 1. That means 3x is equal to pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, etc. So x is equal to pi over uh, 6, 3 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, etc. So I find that uh, x must be equal to n pi over 6, where n is an odd integer, 1, 3, 5, etc. Uh, this is in centimeters, and those will be my anti-node locations. So this is for anti-nodes. Um, so I have anti-node locations here and node locations 